This month's Hero of the Month sale at Alternate Reality features the Bloody Pulps. That's right, all of my pulp reprints and all of my pulp trade paperbacks are all 25% off all month long at Alternate Reality. Now, this includes The Shadow, Doc Savage, The Avenger, G8 and his Battle Aces, Spider, High Adventure, and many, many other fine titles. And Planet Stories as well. And if you pick up Planet Stories, you can find out the secret of the Queen of the Martian Catacombs. So be sure to stop off at Alternate Reality all month long for our Hero of the Month sale. The DC room is packed with comics. Now let's unpack with some comic book news. Get mad, you son of a bitches! Get mad! <laughs> DC News, episode 30, Lost in Newfoundland. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to my video outhouse. It's time once again for DC Comics News here in the outhouse. And as always, we're in the DC room doing DC News. And the outhouse is coming to you from Alternate Reality, located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood, where all new comics are 15% off every day for everyone, including folks like you and the folks who read Justice League. Bo... I have a question for you. Yes? What is the new lineup of this book? The new permanent lineup of this book, at least for the next year or so? What is it? Or two years? For the next two years, the permanent two lineup years. of Justice League will be Dick Grayson as Batman. Yes. Yes, even though Bruce Wayne's coming back, Dick yes. Grayson's not going anywhere. He'll be in the book for a while. Supergirl. Adding more fuel to the fire of my theory that they're doing Batman Beyond when he comes back. But go ahead. Donna Troy, yes. who still doesn't have a superhero name. Yes. Jade. Michael Thomas, otherwise known as Starman, the Blue Starman, Congorilla, who now has an English accent, and Jesse Quick. He now has an English accent. Yes, he has an English accent. accent. Which James Robinson said he has an English accent, and so now he speaks with an English accent. Oh, la di da. He writes the book. He can figure out what they want to sound. Jade will join the team during the JLA JSA crossover, and Jesse Quick will join the team right after that's over with. And that is his lineup for the next two years. Two years. Two years. Okay. He's got two years of stories laid out so far. Hope they're good. Not as if they're gonna fire him. I still hope they're good. Well, the stories, I mean. Justice League needs a decent writer. Uh, decent regular writer. Uh, DC Legacies. What is DC Legacies? Remind everybody. DC Legacies is a six-issue limited series which will basically take some characters way back in the 40s or 50s like the Crimson Avenger and move up to the present. Now, and this is being written by? This is being written by Len Wein. Now, we already knew that Ad Adam Kubert or Andy Kubert, I get the Kubert's mixed up, and Joe Kubert are working on the first two issues. Joe's still working? Joe is still working. Joe, Joe actually invited me to, jo to be a friend of his on Facebook, and he, and he made me a fan of his uh, oh, art school. Oh, that was nice. Of Joe's a nice guy. Yes, think. he is. But the other artists working on the book are J.H. Williams II, Dave Gibbons. They're mm -hmm. going to be inking, Dave Gibbons going to ink him. Jose Castillo Lopez, who actually still works for DC because mm -hmm. he's got that long-term exclusive. Rags Morales and Dan Jurgens. Dan Jurgens. So, it's six issues, two artists do the two issues, two artists do the next issues, two artists do the third issues, and then it'll all be over with. It'll basically be a replacement of who's who in the DC Universe in actual action form, instead of you going, well, it'll oh, be look, pinups. It'll be a narrative. It won't be yes. It won't be picture text, picture text. Yes, it'll be all, it'll be fighting. It'll be a story. Okay, Fight. next up, Justice League International is a 26-week book. 26 weeks, bi-weekly. Bi-weekly, that's rocketing your way very, very soon, as like in probably two, three weeks. Very soon, very soon. Uh, and what's the lowdown on it? Well, the deal is that it stars Justice League International members Fire, Ice, Booster Gold, and Captain Atom. And the reason behind the miniseries is if you read, if you haven't read the end of Blackest Night number eight, well then yes. you, too late. Well, there's somebody who's back from the dead in Blackest Max, Night eight. Yeah, Maxwell Lord returns yes. from the dead, and he made everyone in the world forget who he was, except for these four. You know what I didn't forget? What? He's supposed to be an android. <laughs> go way back to. Oh yeah, he go was. Way there. Back yeah, to, he go was. way back yeah. to the Justice League. Yeah. Somewhere in the first ten issues, yeah. there they revealed he was an android, yeah. and then they've never mentioned it since. That would be the retcon, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> never mentioned it since. It but he's an android. Forgotten. Yeah. Now he's a mutant or something. So this thing's coming out uh, soon. Soon, Jed Winnick and a variety of artists working on the thing. It'll alternate. Brightest Day will show up in the following week. Justice League International will show up in the following. Boom, 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 boom. Is this going to be the goofy JLI, or is this going to be more serious? I mean, Maxwell Lord used to be goofy, and there, then he got, like, really mean-ass serious. This is this is not going to be relatively goofy, even though Keith Giffen is helping work on the book. This will be yeah. somewhat serious. Okay. And the last story we've got is Steven Seagal and his Superman run will be collected 
And other... Yeah, I have no idea why. Steven Seagal's run on Superman, which wasn't really a horrible run, but Steven Seagal doesn't really do action very well. When did, he, when did he work on it? He worked on it right before he did that graphic novel, It's a Bird, It's a Plane Superman, with that Teddy Christensen. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see, the, okay. the arc was so memorable, you're going, what? Yes, yes. No, I remember. It was a while back, though. Yeah. It was a while back. So, but some people asked about this at, uh, at a con, and they said they're going to reprint it. But what they said, oh. they're, n they're not going to reprint. Up. Oh. Ever. Ever. Grant Morrison, Frank Quiley's Flex Mentolo. Ah! Never going to be reprinted. And why not? Because the Joe Weider estate would sue the crap out of DC <laughs> if they printed it. Probably See how I caught myself with that one? I tell you. Uh, he's good. He's getting better. He's getting better. And that's all we got for this DC update. But you can check out more DC news at the store's website, which he sends me and I post up. And the store's website is at www.myalternatereality.com There's new stuff up every day. Hopefully someday, it'll actually be good. Stop off at the store's website. Check out all the news that he sends me. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And Bo. Saying, bye. Damn, I better get started. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.